for this look, I used liquid latex and masking tape just to make the prosthetics. You can make a lot of prosthetics with cheaper materials. All you do is take the uh, strips of masking tape, lay them down, and then you add the liquid latex until it gets a nice tacky feel. Add a paper towel and layers of latex. And then we have Vaseline just for the hairline. You do not want to get liquid latex in your hair. It's a pain to get out. Then we've got liquid latex, disposable sponges. Always use disposable when you're doing latex because it's going to ruin your brushes if you don't clean them right away. We've got some fake blood, some makeup brushes. I use a dark contour palette, the darks for the skin tone. Then we have some grease makeup. We want to put that under the prosthetic so it gives it a little creepier look. Then we have regular foundation to get the skin tone an even color and different color dark eyeshadows to add depth to the look. First step is to apply a little bit of your Vaseline or petroleum jelly to the hairline just so you make sure that you aren't getting any latex on the hair. It's a total pain to get out. You definitely don't want latex in here. Now I'm just going to be adding this red color under and over the eye around this area because that's where the prosthetic is going to have a hole in it so you can see. It doesn't have to be perfect by any means. Remember this is completely under something. So I'm just going to add a little bit to the tip of her nose to kind of see where the mouth is going to be so I can also add that red to the mouth. Just to make sure everything is covered and it looks good. We're also doing a neck prosthetic with this. I don't normally add stuff to the neck unless they're going out. And then I'd add the same thing. And applying the liquid latex to get it to stick where you want it. So we're going to apply the liquid latex. Make sure not to get it too close to the eye. You don't want it to drip it. Once it gets a little bit tacky because you want it to be able to stick, you're going to stick this on the eye. Just hold it for a couple seconds. With this piece, I'm not going to glue this all the way down. I want her to be able to breathe out of it and it also kind of looks like a creepy um, beak. Once it starts to turn a little transparent, that's when you know it's time to stick. If you get some on the outside of the prosthetic, it's no problem. It does dry clear transparent. Now I'll be adding the prosthetic for the mouth. I made this mouth with a little bit of string so that she could open her mouth. Being able to move with your prosthetic adds a lot creepier of a feature. Once that gets a little tackier, you'll be able to add that. While you're waiting for that to dry, you can always get ready for your next prosthetic. I know this one's going to go around her neck kind of like a choker. With the jaw, I don't really stick this part down too much. The fact that it comes out a little bit is going to make it a little bit creepier.
To get the kind of closed mouth look, we used hemp. You can use any kind of string you want. Just make sure it's not too close to your prosthetic or if it is close to the same color, that it comes out like this. Now that it's started to turn transparent, we're going to add a layer of cotton over this. You can use any type of cotton, cotton balls. If you don't have cotton balls, you can also use tissue paper, Kleenex, toilet paper, paper towels, anything that you have. And after you have applied the cotton, you're going to put a thin layer of liquid latex on it. Remember, anytime you put liquid latex over anything before you can do painting or anything else with it, you're going to have to let it dry. So the thinner the layers that you get, with also covering everything, the better off you're going to be. to add to the creepy texture of the face. This is starting to turn transparent. I know it's tacky enough to hold the cotton. So the top part is still a little wet, we'll just wait a little bit longer and then you'll be able to start your painting. Once you feel that it's dry, you can start adding the foundation to the top, it's just going to kind of get that match to it and also add it to any blank spaces that aren't already covered. If it's not perfect, that's okay. I personally, when I shop for my special effects makeup, if I'm going to buy something like foundation, I will literally buy the cheapest thing that I can find. that I'm just going over it with this dark powder that I have for the contour that's going to give it even more of a depth it's going to cover up any of the white spots that you didn't already cover more foundation to the actual prosthetics so you get a little bit more of an even look. And then just these spots right here that I can see sticking out, I'm going to add some more free space. Once you're finished with that part, you're going to take different tones of brown and go through and just add a little bit more depth to it. Now we're going to add one of the most important elements to most of the creepy things that we work on, which is the blood. you're pretty much complete anytime if you want to you can always go through and put some more blood or some more makeup over around the eyes so